Welcome to the video tutorial of Easy Burp, a desktop-based restaurant management software. In this video, we will learn how to create a store item. Store items consists of all the items or raw materials required to prepare dishes, and a restaurant inventory management system helps you track each ingredient used in the recipe. To create a new store item, go to Easy Burp back office. Select the store in which the item needs to be created. On the left hand side select store, item configuration, store items, new, enter all the required information, enter the store item name, select the unit of measurement, the unit selected in this section will be considered as the base unit, and it cannot be changed once the item is used in any transaction. In Easy Burp most of the reports shows the stock in the base unit. Thus, it is recommended to set the base unit as the smallest packing unit of the item. Therefore, it would be easy for the user, as in the reports they will see the stock in the packing unit. Let's take an example of Coca-Cola. Generally, the restaurant buys crates of Coca-Cola and not few bottles. A crate contains 24 bottle, or 12 bottle depending on the size. In this case, select the unit as bottle which is the smallest packing unit, as, when the storekeeper, or the chef will check the consumption, or closing stock, reports will show the stock in bottles and not crates. Add item code if required. Item code is a unique ID given to each item. Select the item category, for example, Coca-Cola is a soft drinks, hence, category can be defined as soft drinks. Select the vendor priority wise from where the store item is to be purchased. Check mark on, is intermediate item, if this item is an intermediate item. Intermediate item, a semi-finished product, which is prepared in the kitchen, by using other raw materials, and then this intermediate item will be used in preparing the menu items. Few examples of intermediate items are, tomato ketchup, which is manufactured by using tomatoes, green chili, salt, etc. Another example would be pizza dough, which is prepared by using flour, oil, salt, etc. And then the pizza dough will be used to make pizza. Let's check out the other important options below, store. If the item is being used by multiple stores, then to activate the item in particular store, select the store from the list and click on activate. Example, Coca-Cola is served in restaurant as well as bar. Hence it has to be activated in both the stores. Once the store is activated, then and only then, the item would be visible under that particular store. Now click on edit, to add more item details for the selected store, such as opening stock. Add minimum quantity. Maximum quantity. Purchase rate. And tax details. Once all details are entered click on save. Click on inactive. To inactive the store items, click on delete to delete the item. Unit, the base unit is already defined, to manage the conversion, click on new. Select the new unit. Add its conversion factor. In this case the item is bought in crates, and one crate contains 12 bottles. Thus, the conversion factor is set as 12 bottles is equal to one crate and click on save. Select the unit, click on edit to edit the unit. Click on delete to delete the unit. Please note the base unit cannot be deleted. Bill of material, all the items, which are used to make this store item are defined over here. Bill of material is used to manage inventory consumption, and this needs to be managed for the intermediate, or semi-finished goods like tomato ketchup, or pizza dough. BOM helps to track all the items which are being used to make a particular item. Once the BOM is added, the inventory stock of the listed BOM items will be updated automatically when the store item is used. In this case, the BOM is not required, as Coca-Cola is a finished product, and can be sold directly. Click on save after adding all the required details. Select the store item, click on edit to edit the item. Click on delete to delete the item. 
If the store item is used in any of the transactions, then it cannot be deleted. In that case make the item inactive. Please note if the item is already used as ABOM of other item then it cannot be set as inactive. To make the item inactive, open the item, check mark on mark as inactive and save. This is how an user can create the store item. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any queries or feedback, kindly contact our 24-7 live chat support.